Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set your gain with a piezo buzzer. Um, what the piezo does is it lets you hear clipping, so you know exactly when you know it starts clipping. Like you don't have to do any math. You don't have to invest in an oscilloscope. You know this is like the cheapest way to know exactly when you're clipping so um, all right let's get on to it so right here I have a um, 40 Hertz negative 10 decibel test tone it's just the sine wave I generated with uh, audacity in Windows um, so yeah so you just get your test tone you get up to the volume that um, you know um, either do 75% of your uh, max volume or um, just the volume the max volume you would listen to it pretty much so my max volume I I don't go past 25 so I'm just gonna set it to 25 I think you can already hear that the buzzer it's buzzing um, that just means there's voltage going in it so um, yeah, so let's just leave that right there. Once there's, um, once it starts clipping and, you know, once the sine wave starts squaring off in a, in a clip signal, then, um, it'll be playing, you know, like second, third, fourth, fifth harmonic. And then that's when you get the higher frequencies going out and then it'll play through the buzzer. You'll hear it once it starts clipping. So. Yeah, so uh, when you start, make sure your um, gain is at zero. Um, subsonic is at the lowest, so off, subsonic off. You want your bass boost off, and then you want your uh, low pass filter all the way up on your uh, amp, and then you can set it. Um, you can set it on your head unit for wherever you like it. So. Yeah, so right now, um, just set your volume. I set mine to 25, and then slowly start turning up the gain until you, uh, you hear it start uh, beeping. Okay, so you hear it start beeping. If I keep turning it up, It'll just beat more and more. So, um, you don't want it to like not beep at all, but you also don't want it to like beep a lot. So just like, once it starts beeping, then just leave it there. So I'm going to leave it there so we know, you know, it's going to let a little of this clip signal go through, but, you know, you're never going to have, like, you know, like a straight, you know, like straight 40 hertz, ne negative 10 dB signal, like, you know, going through during music. So this should, this, this should be good. So yeah, so that's all set now. And then, um, I'll plug in the positive and negative on to my subwoofer and then we'll check out how loud it is okay so now i hooked up the speaker cables going to the sub so now let's um play a song turn up to 25 you want to change right all you gotta change is that fanny pack is that what you want is that what you want